today we're gonna be doing something interesting. Not that interesting, but I'm gonna show you a little garter snake feeding frenzy with some fish. And uh, we're gonna change out the tank and go from there. All right, so I'm gonna move them all, all four of them into this bin right here. I'm damn near gotta lay down just to see this. So about the previous videos too, I'm assuming they're all wild caught, right? And I was thinking, man, they don't look, they don't have that bright contrast color. None of them really look good. Their skin didn't look good. Soldier, you're getting in the way. But shortly after I made the video of when they just, after I just got them, so I mean, within four days, they all shed. So I have one, two, three, all four of them. They all shed, all full pieces, all have their eye caps. But yeah, that's why they all didn't look. None of them really looked that great. I was thinking, man, their skin looks like shit. Like, you know what I mean? And then as soon as they shed, boom, their, their colors was looking way better. So instead of talking to the camera, let's go ahead and pull some of these guys out. So we gotta clean the whole tank. There's one little garter. Garter number two. Garter number three. In you go. That is garter number four. So this is the biggest one. So we got four northern garter snakes. These are common garter snakes. Alright, so here, these are called smelt. Out here, these are lake smelt, so they have two different kinds of smelt. Lake or pond smelt, and then there are rainbow smelt. The, the rainbow smelt, those contain thymonase. These lake smelt or pond smelt, they don't. So, they are able to digest everything in it. And yeah, I learned all about thymonase. Thymonase, thymonase. I learned all about that from snake discovery. Just something good to know. And yeah, with these garters, they're gonna have to have little mice too, but this fish don't contain it, so we'll be all good. So, we're gonna have a little bit of a feeding frenzy. Damn, fucking lay down for this. One interesting thing for, uh, I'm gonna just let him pick out of the bowl pretty much, but I have this internal parasite. It's an animal parasite, internal parasite remover, but I got this one because it's not measured out by pulling into a syringe and, and milliliters per this and per that and per this and per that. It's like, yo, I get it. I get that part. I don't get how to, I get, yeah. I, but with these little guys and the instructions on the back and how to do it, I'm just gonna put one little drop on a piece of fish for each one of them and then probably do that the next go around, next feeding time. Maybe do that three, four times and then should be all good to go, just one drop. Says if you're three pounds, you do four drops twice a day for however long. So I'm gonna do one drop. You have one that's eating right there. I'm gonna put a drop. Alright, so now I've got each one to take a piece of fish with with drops on it. <laughs> so I don't need this stuff anymore.
so I'm gonna let them keep feeding. They'll probably finish the bowl. If not, I'll feed them to the rest. But for now, let's get going. Let's get going on just redoing the tank, cleaning the tank, resetting it up. Yeah. All right, so you guys have probably seen the tank. Tanks in the other videos, but just a quick little overview. I had a water bowl. I had a water bowl right here. Have put a heat mat on it underneath, and then I'm gonna reset this up. I'm gonna put this preventamite stuff in the bedding again. I'll put water in there in 24 hours. All right, so these are the two last pieces. Oh. One snake. Let's go ahead and just put them back. These two I'll probably let finish eating really quick and then I'll put them back in the tank. Alright, so we got all four snakes back. Back into the cage now. I put a lot of fish in there. So they all ate. They're all very full, like you can see pretty much when I was putting them in. Their whole body is, is full of fish. So that's good. I'll feed them again in a week. That's it. We got a clean tank. We got all four garter snakes that are fed. Yeah, I'll put water in there in 24 hours after that mite stuff is done. The tank size is fine. Look at them. I mean, we got some people that's just like, oh, tank size too small. You got four snakes in there. They need space, man. Fuck up. They're four little baby snakes. That's plenty of room. Look how much room they have slithering around. Like it's their permanent tank. Come on, it's just temporary. It was a random buy, saw them at the store. This is a tank I had left over. I don't even know if I'm gonna keep the garter snakes, honestly. I'm enjoying feeding them and keeping them for now. The most part, they were originally gonna be feeders for dry mark on, so I could actually just fatten them, because I get the fish, the fish is super cheap. I can just get the fish and fatten them up and let them grow. But yeah, they're originally feeders, so you can tell me about a small tank, it doesn't matter. They might not be around forever because they're gonna get eaten. Thanks for watching.